Welcome to D&D. &D. This is Prepare for the Tournament, Part 3 of Chapter 3. <clears throat> Alright. At this point, it is December 1st. And Dawnstar, you are being held captive by Darth Maul. We're going to say he shows up Darth Maul. Today you are also our number one again. We do not own any music, by the way. All right, you're still meditating, and we do not own any of the music on these broadcasts. <clears throat> All right, so you're meditating, and Darth Maul is gonna walk up and go. You'll die here if you don't join me on the dark side. Can't you sense the hate inside yourself? Hmm, we'll see. That's a good question. You want somebody like you on his team, we'll say, because <clears throat> we are trying to grow the forces of the dark side. Then you will die like one of the light side. Then how is it you are of the light side? Republican. I'm talking about... I'm talking about you. I sense great power within you. If you're not one of us, you're one of them. Hmm. You say you're part of the light side, but have no idea. All right. I'll tell you what. If you're truly part of the light side, what color lightsabers that you hold? He's gonna pull out his double-sided lightsaber and be like, don't act a fool. He's going to say, are you one of Master Yoda's? Hmm. You say you'll buy the light side, but you won't. And won't join the dark side, but have no idea of the power of the light side either. You're pathetic. He's going to force throw you against the wall. And we'll say every day that month he's going to ask. We'll say once a week. He's going to come in and ask. One through, so the first three weeks, what's the answer? <clears throat> All right, the fourth week comes up. At this point, we'll say he comes up on Christmas, 
the day of Christmas. He's gonna say, I'm tired of your foolish games. Take him to the take him to the arena. Let his blood be spilled. So you're gonna be taken away by a bunch of robots. But at this point you know the droids, so yeah, just a bunch of droids. We'll say tons of droidicas and battle droids and like, you're not getting away. They take you over to the arena. Where you see droids all fighting and practicing, you know, doing their thing. Not really practicing, but, you know, fighting to the last droid. Droids that didn't cut. Make the cut, basically. And other captured heroes. We're going to say a bunch of different humans from tons of different worlds, a bunch of, you know, alien looking creatures. Uh, and we'll say somebody's there with, well, he, yeah, we'll just say that. Um, we'll say all the droids drop you off with the rest of them. And they say running is futile. Droids is going to say your match is coming first and he's going to start pushing you towards the entrance <clears throat> and as you're walking out it is true droidicas that you must fight <clears throat> on your way out the door a man in a hood with long hair says may the force be with you First one. Uh, you tell me. The let's say the Jordicas have armored up and they're both blasting right at you. <clears throat> okay. You've made the Dark Dome. Um, it's a four. Um, roll a ten, a D ten. Roll again. You hit neither of them. You go to hit them to kill them, and you hit them, and it's straight metal. And they turn around, and at this point, they're both going to blast you, sending you back. You're going to lose all of your defense from it. At this point, you're bleeding. <clears throat> yes. Yes, you can. Roll a d20.
All right, you summon the T-Rex. <clears throat> you summon one normal sized T-Rex from like Jurassic Park. And they're just like, ah. All right, you're on the back of the T-Rex. They're going to start shooting the T-Rex with their lasers, and immediately the T-Rex falls and dies. And it's stuck on you. You have been, you are being held down by the T-Rex that you spawned. No, yes. you, you didn't say shadow. You, you said a creature creation. And you can't uncreate a creature. Hmm. You can make the dark hole, but then you can't unmake the dark hole, but go ahead. Because who knows what that will suck up. We'll see at this point, you can't. Like, it is on your legs. On the back of your legs. You're trying to pull so hard, but you're talking thousands of pounds. Well, I mean, this guy is pretty strong, but I don't know about thousands of pounds strong. You just barely can't pick it up. Okay. They're going to eat the T-Rex. Enough of the T-Rex that you can throw it off as they're being shot and killed. Okay, the dome is going to shrink to your size while you sit down and meditate. We'll say the lasers are shooting off of you at the moment. You're meditating, what are you doing? What are you gonna do? You're just gonna meditate. Alright, we'll say that the droids are shooting at you for like 30 minutes before you open your eyes to a pain in your left arm and you see a red lightsaber in your arm laying there. Maul's going to be standing there. No, he, like you're looking, the red lightsaber's where your arm used to be and your arm's on the ground. He cut your arm off. He's gonna look at you and be like, match is over. And the two George you were fighting are gonna be carrying you off or dragging you off. Cause you're at this point, we're gonna say you're laying there being, you're cauterized, you're wound, but your left arm is gone and you're being drugged away, just passed out from the pain. Uh, you get back to you get, as you're getting drugged through the door you're in and out of consciousness and as you're in and out of consciousness you see the man with the robes asking what happened taking care of you as you're trying to recover
he's gonna tell you to don't worry about that for now young young strong one he'll say just rest for now Mark you almost fucked up there I did <gasps> They're going to, the old man's going to look at you and be like, because at this point we'll say it's mid-January, by the time, you know, you recover enough to be able to talk to him, and he's going to be uh, basically like, your arm's gone, man, I'm sorry. He'll be like, of course we do. But uh, getting one here is nearly impossible. You're sent here to die. And believe me, the only reason I've survived so long is because I myself am a Jedi. That's the light side in this universe, I guess, if you're going by that term. <clears throat> I don't know what universe this is, but... I don't know what you mean by what universe this is, but... He then explains basically the gist of, like, lasers, you know... Basically, uh, Darth Maul, where he came from. Just stuff that you would know in the first movie. And he's going to mention that he should have someone coming to help him, his young Padawan, Obi-Wan. Say less. <clears throat> he's going to tell you his name. He's like Liam Neeson. <laughs> <laughs> I'd get fucking late. Why gone, Jim? Mm -hmm. Hello, on y'all. Mark, turn down the music a little bit. It's kind of hard to hear James. He's going to say. He's gonna say, uh... He's gonna be like, that's awesome. Uh... I sense great power within you. I sense great force. But it's not clear yet to what path you all is lie. Well, the light in the dark. Well, there's a neutral, but depending on your rolls, makes you good or evil, so. Yeah, there is a... He's going to tell you that when he gets out of here, uh, he is going to, when he gets out of here, <clears throat> well, if they get out, he said he'll take you to Master Yoda. He's going to explain Master Yoda, Mace Windu, the whole council, where they live, everything. How the Republic runs. You guys have a lot of time on your hands. We'll say that, you know, for two weeks he's describing the whole world and 
events recently that lead up to certain are leading up to certain things. And we'll say by then, uh, you know, you've had a bunch of different fights. Or, no, you've recovered. They let you recover, which you don't know why. And at this point, Maul is saying that this is your last chance to join them. And he throws uh, your Jedi friend away. Both his lightsaber ends are going to come out. He's going to turn around and immediately start fighting Obi-Wan out of nowhere. As Obi-Wan throws his uh, Master A lightsaber. And they're both going to start fighting Maul. While tons of other people... While tons of the droids are now moving in as well. And at this point, they're just killing everybody there. Maul is shutting this area down. He doesn't want to do it anymore. You just see people dying everywhere. Alright, go ahead and roll a d20. You are going to try to distract the droids, and now they are all looking at you. A bunch of, half of them are looking at you, and we're talking thousands of droids. So now thousands are immediately pointing at you, shooting at you. Lasers are coming in on you, and your agility is a seven. <clears throat> like, you can dodge, but not for long. Yes. We'll say that the gun you found, you, the, uh, hmm. We'll say you look down and you find a gun. You find your satchel or whatever, wherever they were hiding your gun. Okay, you're going to you're going to easily be taking them out, no problem. And their shit's going to be bouncing off of you at the moment. <clears throat> we'll say at this point you see uh, you see Darth Maul going off fighting Obi Wan. Well, Obi Wan stuck between the barriers while his master's fighting him. Darth Maul going down a hallway. Well, I mean, you're stuck in a thing. You clearly see what's happening. All right, we'll say that it continues to pay or it continues to play out. Ah, uh, and you see him kill the Jedi your Jedi friend, and he falls. And now Obi-Wan is 1v1-ing. After Obi-Wan was stuck holding, almost about to die himself, using his buddy's jet, uh, lightsaber, he strikes down Darth Maul, and Darth Maul falls through the hole. Dragon Jin has fallen through a hole to the endless abyss of, you know, space or whatever. Like the movie. He died, he fell through. Oh, okay, so we'll say, his, yeah, his body's still there then. <clears throat> I 
We'll say at this point he's going to tell him to train Anakin and his new friend. Obi-Wan's going to hand you his lightsaber and he's going to take his master's. You remember what color the lightsabers were now? You remember what color the lightsabers were, right? No, I'm saying which one Obi-Wan and his buddy had, his mentor. Yes. So yours would be the green one. Yeah, that. My bad. Yeah, I had them mixed up. All right, so yours is the blue lightsaber. After you become a true Jedi, the color can be what you want. guys are gonna head off home he'll yeah you guys will talk he'll be like oh thank you that's awfully nice of you and he's gonna take you to master yoda where yoda's gonna say i sense force in you or force in you oh yeah you're gonna have to do the voice just do the voice yes that is what he says You are <clears throat> We'll say your guy how old do you want your guy to be? Or currently. Yeah. Put 21 down. Everyone ages up in January. <clears throat> so now everybody would go up a year. Because it is January, but not for us yet. Only for you it is January. So you guys are Yoda's gonna agree that uh, Obi Wan can be your well we'll say Mace Windu is going to be your trainer. You will be his Padawan. He wants Mace Windu to train you because he wants if you want the purple lightsaber you have to go the path of Mace Windu's training. Yes, you will be training with me, young Padawan, for the next many, many months, maybe years. He's going to say thank you. We hope that you might replace him one day. He's going to look at you and say, does that mean you would leave? Because if so, we couldn't train you. We'll only train you if you'll stay here and be one of us. Alright, you're going to start training with them now. Me 
meanwhile. The rest of us, uh, Stoney, you are in Beerus' world. You just explained everything to Beerus. And Beerus is going to look at you and go, huh, Universe 6? Not my problem. Uh, I'd ask him, is there any way you can contact your brother? Because isn't he, uh, Universe 6's, uh, destroyer? Yeah. Uh, Universe 6's is, is Champa. Yes. So, yeah, I was correct. No, it is not. Is it's it? It's not. I yeah, it yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yeah. Oh, I don't have any fucking Yeah, but you would. You just got a whip. Yes, yes, it does. Cool. He's going to look at you and go, huh. I wouldn't call my brother besides to spit in his face. You can do that too. Uh, okay, I look over that Whis and I'm like, what is the angel's name that's with him? Whis. Not Whis. No, the angel that's with Chapa. Oh, yeah. uh, uh, fuck, that's Whis' sister, uh. Fuck, she's a character in the game. Yeah, look her up. Alright, so we'll say she tells you her name. Okay, I'm like, thank you. And I proceed to try to call her. I'm like, hey, I need a... We'll say Weiss calls. We'll say Weiss calls. Vados. Yeah, we'll say she calls Vados and Vados uh, speaks to Champa and she goes, I'm sorry, but... Lord Champa said he will not intervene with such small decrees. Okay. And Whis goes, well, sorry, we tried. It is what it is. I try to contact something with my demon side. All right, you're going to contact uh, King Yeba. Okay. And he's going to be like, uh, hello? How do you... How is it you're talking to me? Um, well, I'm part demon, so that's a thing. Um, and I kind of might need some assistance with some things. He's going to tell you I'm Sorry. nothing but the bookkeeper to tell you where you go. Remember King Yama? Yeah. Yeah, he's the big dude. I'm tired of seeing Goku. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I tell Mahogany. him I like your desk because it's mahogany. He's gonna say, "How do you know it's mahogany?" I just know. You like the finer things in life, the yes. afterlife. I just got that sense. To He's going to be creeped out and hang up. Uh, I'm going to be like, okay. Uh, I tried to contact King Kai. King Kai answers you. I'm like, hey. Uh, Goku might be in trouble. Oh, yes. He is. I'm not going to need your help. Is there any way you can help me power up so I can, you know, help them? King Guy is going to tell you that he will send a ship for you. That is the best okay. he can do. And he gives okay. you the, the coordinates for planet uh, Sadala. Okay. Fuck. Takes a month for the sh two months for the ship to get there. So we'll say, end of January, the ship shows Hold up. Hold on, before I leave, I want to gear up. I want to get, like, a sword, uh, some armor. They have state-of-the-art armor, but no weapons. Okay. No weapons. I want to grab a bag of sensu beans. 
Okay, a bag holds five sensu beans. Okay. That should be good. Alright. And... Is that a rock or anything? Huh? A rock or anything? You like to carry rocks around, I've noticed. Yeah, I, no. I, wanna, I wanna grab a he bag of rocks. He grabs a rock and uses his power on it and drops it. Yeah, I'll do that, yeah. Alright. That way you can teleport back to Beerus, if anything. He likes to have him. He likes to do that, so... Very true. I should be... I should carry around a bag of rocks. Well, isn't it like once you use your power on one, you can't use it on the other without losing it? Yeah. No, then the rocks just switch place. He has to grab... He could grab a bag of rocks, for sure. Hold on. Use his power on one and just drop it, one at a time. And then the one that he drops, he would have to go back to it before he could drop another. If he dropped another, he'd lose the other one. I just ha Okay, I had an idea. I, I just had an idea. Okay. So, whose turn is it now, since I'm on the ship? It would now be mine... We'll say that I'm healing from Vegeta knocking me the fuck out. I wake up the next morning. Muffin's all over the place. <laughs> and I'm gonna pick one up and start eating it. And for the month, I think I'm gonna train for that month. Oh, yeah. 300 gravity. Yeah, we'll I'm say on my way I, to... We'll say I'm at 1,000 gravity. Dang it. Really pushed me off, huh? Yeah. And... We'll say up to uh, February. What are you doing, Gabe? Becca is training with me this whole time. Okay, I was on the ship with you guys, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Correct. Where's my lighter? Huh? We'll say you wake up that morning, you walk out of your, uh... You walk right. out of your room. And you're hearing Yamcha, you know, and all them talking shit on Stony. Like, thank God he's gone. He would leave like a little bitch. I'm gonna walk up behind Yamcha and say you're one fucking talk. Yamcha's gonna turn around and sock you one. Okay. I'm like, get up. Power up. Halfway. Okay. Nothing. Pick his ass up and chuck him. You chuck him and he gets knocked out. And the rest of them go running. It's awfully sad that you have to pick on somebody who's not even here just because they're stronger. Yeah, I'm just gonna say for now. And then pass back a out. Bitch. Uh, I'm gonna go looking for. Everyone else that was supposed to be on the ship. You're gonna see me and Becky fighting. And Goku and Vegeta fighting. Training. At all. I mean, fuck, at this point I might as well get it on it myself. Get some training in. Alright. Who are you gonna train with? going to train solo for a little while to get warmed up. Alright, so the first month you train solo. You guys are significantly stronger than me, and I'm, I know that. I am not stupid. You trained it, you trained solo for a month. It's now January. Okay. Now remember, um, we're hiding out on a planet. We're not, like, going through space or anything right now. We're just on a ship. Mm-hmm. 
training for whatever's to come on Sadala. Okay, uh, are you the captain of the ship? Or is there an actual captain? Well, it's not really a captain, it's more Goku and Vegeta, the most powerful being, so... Okay, then I'm gonna ask... When we are going. Alright. On our way. Hmm. That's a good one, too. As much as I enjoy the training. Don't we want to find out what's going on on planet Sonala? Goku and Vegeta are going to say that they sense power stronger than you on Sadala. Okay, can I not train while the ship is in motion on the way there? You can almost see it in the sky. Okay. It's a distant but nearby planet, you know? Yeah. I get you. I mean, I appreciate that. But I worry about... more about... people of Zavala. Vegeta's gonna tell you not to be a rookie. I don't wanna hear it. Vegeta's gonna say, is that a challenge? Is everything to you a fight? Look at what with that smart ass mouth of yours. I just thought you'd have a little more pack in your punch. You are the wrong person to be talking about smart-ass pals. He's gonna look at you and go, I can back it up. Yeah, not to Goku, you can't. He's gonna go Super Saiyan Blue and knock you out. <laughs> totally oh, fucking God. worth it. <laughs> We'll say more than just knock out, like, he beats you hospitalized. He's mad as fuck. Well, you know, this is on fault. You can't ever be And you are now healing for that month. He is one of those. Anyway, I haven't eaten today, so I'm going to end the D&D here. On a short one, we also started a little late tonight. Sorry about that, guys. Edward. Right, you can do, what do you, time do you work tomorrow? 4 p.m. Okay, Two. Mark, you can turn the music down a little bit. To what? 8 p.m. Oh, to 8? Alright, we're gonna play tomorrow at 8.30. That's if he even keeps me on shift that long. Yeah, well, regardless, we'll say 8.30. So we can run a few hours. On the next episode of Dragon Ball D and D, will Stony be able to get back to Planet Sadala? We're already ending. Yes, unfortunately, it's late. It's almost midnight. I haven't even eaten yet. Uh. In the oven. Well, just remember, I am training while I'm on my way there. Well, he's gonna go back and watch the last 15 minutes, always. Yeah, so we are in February 1st of the next year. Everybody's also a year older, but I will make that calculation on the next video. Will Dawnstar become the next Jedi under Mace Windu? Fuck yeah, Will Stoney make it to Sadala in time? Will Goku and Vegeta 
ever start getting along. Find out in the next episode of Dragon Ball D&D.